and it was automatically an unmatch. As soon as that happened, I was just unmatched with you. Because Choose your fighter. Fight. YouTube. welcome welcome back to my youtube channel it's when we talk coming back at you again with what yet another video so before i get started i just wanted to say like i'm so sorry i know that i said in my last video that i was gonna get back to like uploading consistently again however i ran into like some issues with my laptop um i was using a mid-2012 macbook pro i think it was a macbook pro to edit my videos and everything because I needed, I wanted to use Final Cut Pro rather than editing on my phone and editing on iMovie and that computer since it's so like old was very 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 slow when it came to editing when it came to exporting like that last video took me literally four days to export and the video before that literally took me two straight days of keeping my computer awake it would crash it would like fail to export it would literally be at like 70 percent exported and just say export failed and then you would have to restart and it, it took forever and i could not i don't have the mental capacity to be doing that all the time like it's just so draining so i decided to get a new laptop rather than using 300 dollars to like clear that one out and make that one brand new I was like, no, that's a waste of $300. Let me just put that $300 towards a new computer, especially since I'm going off to college this year in about two weeks, actually, depending on when this video goes out. And I did that instead. But while I was on Apple's website looking for what computer I wanted to get, I realized that I was going to get a MacBook Pro because MacBook Pros are better for editing videos than MacBook Airs are. That's beside the point. I was gonna get the original eight gigabytes of memory slash RAM, which is like the processing speed that the computer runs on. And then I decided that it would probably be better, especially if I'm trying to use the computer for school and to edit videos to get 16 gigabytes of RAM. So that way I don't have to worry about my computer slowing down anytime soon. And editing my videos is gonna go really quickly because the computer's gonna be going, it has a lot of space to be running a bunch of things in the background while I'm editing like clips and things so I can edit while looking at other stuff, etc, etc. In doing so, due to Corona, I couldn't just go to the store and pick up a 16 gigabyte memory computer. I had to order it online. And that's because they had to add that configuration to the computer and the computer had to ship from China. And it literally took a month because I ordered the computer first week of July now it's like July 31st and I literally got it yesterday <laughs> so it's really not my fault I'm so sorry um but now that I have the computer I already have a couple videos edited a couple videos recorded so I'm gonna go ahead and work on editing those and editing this one and putting this one up this one might go up before those so if you see like you know I look different now than I did in the other videos like just ignore it i'm so sorry there's nothing i can do about that those videos are going out though those are i actually kind of like those videos um it that's all i can say anyways i've already rambled about this for too long i already give my apologies y'all could either take it or you don't like i don't really know what to say um everyone's entitled to how they want to feel all right so let's get into the video as you can see from the title of the video, I'm going to be talking and rating some dating apps. Um, when I was looking for which apps to do, I decided to go with some mainstream ones because there is a lot of freaking dating apps. There's apps literally for specifically like for interracial dating. There's apps specifically for, you know, finding like sugar daddies today etc and there's apps like for dating just older people in general without like the whole sugar daddy connotation to it which is weird because on all these apps that i'm talking about um you can put the age range you want so i feel like if you're looking for somebody older you can literally use any of these apps and do that without a, using a whole different app for it but i guess some people i don't know i guess it's just 
not like what people tend to do so they made a new app for it um the three apps that i decided i wanted to talk about or go through and i could always like if y'all like this i could always do different apps like later but the three apps that i decided to do were tinder black and bumble um I'm going to talk about each individual app. I'm gonna like give my pros and my cons, and then I'm gonna give like a final rating for all three of the apps at the end. Let's start with Tinder, right? My pro for Tinder, and literally when I was like thinking about what I liked about Tinder or what I didn't like about Tinder, the only thing I could think of that was a pro to me on Tinder was the fact that Tinder is racially diverse and I feel like this is good for people who don't really care about somebody's race because I know a lot of people have preferences about what type of races they date etc etc just like think about it a little and debate whether or not it's actually a preference or a fetish because the fetishization of races and ethnicities is strange and it's kind of weirdo energy. Tinder is racially diverse. You know, there's, you can go from scrolling from a white guy to a Middle Eastern guy, to an Asian guy, to a black guy, to a Hispanic guy. Like you literally can swipe left or right on so many different types of people all different shapes sizes skin colors etc etc you know however that is the only good thing about tinder to me tinder the people on tinder are weird the people on tinder are so weird i don't even think tinder should be allowed to be called a dating app tinder should definitely be called a hookup app because 90% of people on Tinder don't want a relationship. They want to smash, you know? Like, they were actually going to go on a date just so they can smash. Keep in mind, I did not go on any dates with any of these people. It was strictly conversation and like FaceTimes with certain ones, etc., etc. I think I only talked to one person. On FaceTime from Tinder and he was really cool but he also just wasn't you know for me um and he was also like the only cool person I think I matched with on Tinder because Tinder got came off of my phone as quickly as it came onto my phone I tried so hard to stay as long as possible so I can get like more out of it for this video. But Tinder is full of racist people. Tinder's algorithm is terrible. And although I said it's racially diverse, it's still just the majority of white guys. And I just wasn't here for it. I would probably have to swipe through eight. I would have to swipe left on like eight white guys before I hit a black guy. And then swipe left and another eight white guys before I hit a Hispanic guy, you know? And the amount of conservatives that are on Tinder is absolutely crazy. <sighs> Tinder. It's crickets for sis. It was baby crickets for Tinder. I don't understand why it's so popular because it's actually out of the apps is the suckiest app like it's absolutely trash I literally got into political debates on tinder for what for who some of these people just need to put these on their profile because that's another thing people tend to be hiding shit until you swipe with them like until you match with them why are you hiding it big boy just say it on your profile so i know not to swipe right like ugh. oh and you would think that like tinder after you swipe left and right on certain types of people tinder would like try to feel it out and be like oh you know like 
this is the type of person he or she likes let's try to put more of this type of person on their feed no tinder just said fuck you um you would think that me a very left black immigrant woman would be getting typically left minorities on my feed and i i was not getting anything of the sort i think i ended up matching with like four or five people on tinder because i just could not find people i would want to swipe right on literally tinder was just me going like this the whole time just declining just going like this the entire time it was lame and a lot of people on tinder don't even use like their like face for their profile picture and my thing is though i'm not going through your profile if your initial picture is not appealing to me i'm not i'm just gonna keep swiping you might be a really good person but you are way too old to not know how to present yourself properly and there's just so much more that was lame when it comes to tinder but it was for me it was just kind of just a racist it was kind of just a racist like maybe i could get over everything else that was on the tinder but there wasn't so many races on that <sighs> black be okay but it's definitely meant to be said black Pearls for black is that it was pretty much all black people and i say pretty much like you assume that it would be all black people but it was definitely those like stragglers in there you know those people who who want to date black people you know there was definitely them in there but and i know that that's like such a contradiction for what my poll was for tinder but at the same time it was nice that it was pretty much all black people because unlike tinder i didn't have to worry about like well do they like black girls you know because if you're on black i'm assuming you like black girls the people on black niggas on black are different than the niggas on tinder the niggas on tinder will only compliment you for your looks da, da, da. they they're not even actually trying to have any like conversation of substance none of that Whereas the people in black, like, they will compliment you for your looks, but then they will actually, like, try to get to know you. Like, they'll actually be like, you know, like, not even just, like, what's your favorite color. They're like, where's somewhere you want to travel, you know? Like, what do you do with your life? What are, you, what are your dreams for the future? You know, stuff like that. Guys on black just acted different. Like, they acted like they knew you were the prize. So they were gonna treat you with queen dumb just like every other dating app there's definitely a few weirdos on black a couple here and there but i matched with a lot of people on black i also swiped left on a lot of people on black and there was definitely a lot of people there's definitely a decent amount of people that i matched with that i had a conversation with and i was not feeling it i like unmatched with them and everything but Never on black did I fear for my safety like I did on Tinder. Like on Tinder, I definitely had someone who told me like, oh, my chocolate drop. Like we should go on a date and link and meet up. And then I remember telling them like, oh, um, not during the pandemic. Like we're still in the middle of a pandemic, sir. I'm not gonna see anybody in the middle of this pandemic. And they were like, no, we should meet up, we should meet up. Like, very, very adamant about it, right? And I'm like saying, no, like, I'm not trying to do it. Because I was not trying to meet up with anybody on any of these apps. This was strictly for this video. And I feel like once you get really, really pushy, it's because you're sketchy and you know you're sketchy and you're trying to do some sketchy shit. And I did not have to encounter that on Black. Like... I had a couple of people in black who was like, yeah, like, let me take you on a date, you know, like, we can go get something to eat, we can go watch a movie, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. and I'll be like, oh, no, because of the pandemic, like, you know, we can FaceTime and stuff like that, 
and then after covid you know maybe we can go get something to eat or something and i did not have any guy on black who got upset with that or literally they're all just like yeah i understand you know da -da -da. and they just it didn't even break the conversation they just kept going they flowed with it they were like yeah however a con i had with black were the colors i definitely had a couple people on black who would hit me with the you're very pretty for a dark skinned girl you know and it was automatically an unmatch as soon as that happened i was just unmatched you because first of all i'm bad as fuck regardless but it was always the niggas that were darker than me who was saying that you know i never had any of the light skins i matched with on dark um sorry i matched with on black say something like that to me i don't know why it's always the dark skin niggas that are doing that like what does that what does that mean you're a dark skin like do you want me to take your very hands up for a dark skin man no because that's weird why do you guys keep doing that to us do it to me again i'll break your neck <sighs> however overall like black was pretty decent like i was pretty you know i felt pretty good about black I felt pretty good about the people on there there was one person I met on Black who I really fucked with. Like, our conversations, we, we became like pretty good friends. We don't talk anymore, you know, because, well, internet friends, you don't really stick with internet friends like that. But they definitely made like that point in time in the pandemic a little bit like more enjoyable because it was like we had a really funny conversation, you know and like the conversation was very light-hearted but they could also have like a deep conversation about like the state of things in the world and you know they were like they were a decent human being they weren't homophobic they weren't transphobic they weren't anti-abortion they you know weren't racist were were colorist like there was something typically wrong about this person you know like if i knew this person in person we'd probably be really really good friends so if black can you know figure out how, how to fix that colorist issue which i know they can't because there's just people and i could always like report but like i feel like reporting somebody for internalized colorism is not a way to fix it it's, it's cancel culture and it's toxic so i just canceled the app instead <laughs> bumble um i didn't hate bumble you know my pros for bumble actually was a pretty decent list like i could put together a pretty decent list i liked how on bumble the girl has to make the first move i liked how on bumble like because that like invokes confidence in somebody like you have to be confident enough to text a nigga first and it was like very nice and like the thing bumble really tried hard to like you know push girls to do that to actually because once you match you have 24 hours to make the first move or the person expires you can extend your 24 hours if you just don't have the time within the 24 hours but if they go gray you have to like pay to get them back and you know that's weird however so like basically like you have 24 hours to you know say something to this person and you can pick a charity and every time you like make the first move and say something first to them bumble donates money to the charity and the cause you chose which honestly like is very progressive and I fucked with that a lot. It's progressive in almost every aspect of it. Bumble also out of the three apps definitely had the most in-depth profiles. Like they had different prompts and stuff so people can say different things about themselves. And not just like the basic like I'm this height da 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 da. You know they had that in the beginning but as you scroll it would go like picture small bio thing picture small bio thing picture small bio thing and you could really like the more people wanted to put the more you can read about it and like more you could read about them and the more you can get to know them even before you match with them and i thought that out of the three apps bumble definitely did the best job of giving somebody a more specific like 
outlook of a person before they match to be able to avoid unneeded confrontation or unneeded issues because unlike tinder where i didn't know a lot of these people were conservative before i matched with them on bumble you can put your political aligning you know and that was amazing so like i obviously like my specific political aligning wasn't there so i put whatever was closest to it which was liberal and it definitely saves me from having a bunch of conservatives like matching with me it didn't completely save me though because once you like swipe left on somebody if they had swiped right on you it would tell you at the top like you just missed a potential match you know and there was definitely a, a couple conservatives that i swiped left on and then it would say that and i wouldn't think myself like why the fuck did you swipe right on me you know but that's not even an issue with the app itself that's just an issue with the people um bumble has these like game things where you can to spark like conversation so if you can't think of what to like start with and you don't want to start with something boring like hi or hey etc etc like you can randomize a question or you can type your own question and put an answer and it won't show your answer to the person until the person also answers that same question it shows you when you both submit it and honestly that's how i started a lot of my conversations because i felt like saying hey 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 like was boring and you sometimes you don't even know to go from there it's like how are you da, da, da. but it's also like damn i really don't know these people so like asking how are you most people are just gonna say good and that answer is basic and i didn't think i was gonna get much out of that um but that game was actually very fun so i applaud bumble for that and the con i have for bumble is the con i have is a con that i also have for the other two apps men i men were definitely the only con i have for bumble because men are trash men are absolutely disgusting and out of the people i had matched with on bumble there was only one person who truly made me want to ugh, regurgitate you know but i realized that if you took men out of these apps a lot of my ratings could have gone up for some of them okay now let's get into the Ratings! For Tinder, I give Tinder a whopping 4 out of 10. I definitely think I'm being very nice, very generous, you know, with that rating for Tinder because why do you allow people on your app who promotes hate? I feel like that's definitely something you should set up, you know, like things in your algorithm to catch. And I just, I wasn't here for it. Tinder didn't do anything for me. Nothing about Tinder was fun. Um, and I say fun because I low-key looked at all these dating apps. It's kind of like a game. It made it easier to be able to like give an objective look onto them. Um, Black? I gave Black a 7.57 out of 10. You know, because it was a little bit over a 7.5 for me, but not quite anywhere else. I thought Black because of the people were nice, you know, and things like that. But just like the racist, the colorist definitely brought down the rating. I didn't encounter as many colorists on black as I encountered racist on Tinder. So it didn't drop it as much because obviously I feel like black 
either maybe the people on there are just better or the app is just better at solving issues like that before they become issues you know and yeah 7.5 Bumble. I give Bumble a 9. A 9 out of 10. Um, Bumble would have been a 10 out of 10 for me if it wasn't for that one person. As well as if it wasn't for men on the app period. Um, men are trash. The world would low-key be a better, better place without men. However, Bumble is so high because the app itself does so much to like do good towards the girls you know like their report system is a woman woman tailored you know the whole app is very woman tailored and dating apps i feel are a lot harder for women than they are for men so the fact that bumble literally look like they went out of their way in almost every aspect to try to make the woman on the app feel as comfortable and as safe as possible i was so here for it you know and there was one person i met on bumble who i still talk to now because they were an amazing person and bumble was lit like i felt the bumble so hard if we can get rid of the men on bumble bumble can give me a 10 out of 10. i say this as if i wasn't a cis woman on bumble and i didn't specifically say like i wanted to like seek men i was looking for men you know i kind of want to like do these apps these three apps again but do it as like looking for women so I can see, you know, kind of what like the guys see. Not like exactly what the guys see because I would only also see women who are looking for women. And I'm not really willing to make a fake man account to do that. But I kind of want to see what the other side looks like, you know, like are other people the same, are the women the same on these apps as the men are? You know like uh, a lot of the women on tinder also racist that's why a lot of the men are racist and it just fits like maybe maybe not um out of the three apps bumble if you guys have any suggestions for any videos you'd like to see me do or like to, anything you'd like to see me talk about you can go ahead and leave that in the description Ooh, you can go ahead and leave that in the comment section or you can contact me personally using any of my socials because my snapchat instagram and twitter all that jazz is going to be in the description box where down below as always you can go ahead and follow me on those socials so you can interact with me and you can basically help me decide things that i do for videos because sometimes i do videos where i'm responding to you guys' questions or i'm talking about you guys' opinions and stuff like that and i do that through um polls on my ig and things on my snapchat so you can go ahead and do that um thank you so much for watching my video make sure to like comment and subscribe down below and make sure to drink water stay healthy clear your skin and unlike some of these niggas on tinder mind your business bye <laughs>